It's December. The end of the year is near, which means celebrations and shopping for many people, but it also means paying your personal property and real estate taxes because they're due. Joining me in the studio to talk about that is the Collector Revenue, Gregory FX Daily. Thank you so much for coming on. I know this is your busy time of the year, so maybe not as exciting for you. <laughs> Andy, thanks for having me. Yeah, as, as we talked earlier, it's, uh, it's kind of the Super Bowl if you're the Collector of Revenue. Oh yeah, lots of people paying on and managing all that as well. But to talk about the tax season as taxes are due, a lot of things uh, have been changing with the COVID restrictions. The, the Omicron variant is, is now prevalent. So what are the policies now with your office in regard to COVID? Yeah, things have changed uh, certainly in the last couple of years. And I think one of the things you should expect if you're gonna come to City Hall, Social distancing is, is practiced. Uh, and one of the things that I'd like to alert people, if you come to City Hall to, to pay uh, your, your real estate or your personal property bill, wear your mask, that's gonna be required. As you come into the building and you see maybe a longer line that you thought of that you expected, just remember six feet so it's not as long as you think. Uh, and also, if you don't have to come to City Hall, you don't have to come to pick up your real estate receipt or your real estate or your personal property receipt. You can get those things online now, which is a really a big deal. So uh, a lot of customers are seeing a delay, obviously, with people shopping online. A lot of mail gets a little slower around this time of year. Is your, is your office managing that a little differently as well, trying to manage when payments can come in? Yeah, I think you see that on the news all the time that Christmas packages are being delayed and maybe, you know, you've got to get it in by a certain date. We mailed all bills on, this, on November the 5th. And what we did is got them out as soon as we could. So anybody who hasn't gotten a bill at this stage of the game needs to call the office immediately. But what we try to do and what we do is if you do your postmark, we, we deal with postmarks. So whatever the postmark is for, from the uh, post office, that's what we go with. So don't be upset if, if we don't get those things out, out by January the 1st or whatever it is. We're dealing with it and we'll, we'll deal with everything with a postmark of December the 31st. So, you know, we, we are very flexible in that behalf. You're, you're talking about postmarks and mailing it, but there are other options as well. And people can pay online and not have to deal with the, uh, with the post office as well. There really is, and, and uh, Pay It St. Louis, payit.com St. Louis is a big source of how we're dealing with bills at this stage of the game. It's so much easier for folks to be able to pay their bills online. We also, you know, you can pay online, you can pay by phone. So there's different things that we, as the collector of revenue, are trying to make the experience of paying your tax bills as easy as possible. You know, uh, if, if you, if your New Year's Eve is not what you expect it to be and you want to pay your bill at uh, 1130 on Christmas Eve, we're there for you. <laughs> so there are other options as well. I mean, I, I know you've got the, the mail it coming in person. Uh, are there any other payment options that maybe not paying it all at once on New Year's Eve or whatever is... is it yeah, and, and, and thank you for bringing that up. It's, it's something that a lot of folks struggle. It's a tough bill to pay uh, over the holidays. And what we would encourage people to do is to contact us. You can pay, you know, uh, anytime you want up until December the 31st. You can pay a couple of times. The most important thing is to let us know what your situation is. If we know what your situation is, we'll try to work with you. Absolutely, and I remember last year, you had, we actually had you on and you talked about there being some options that could be available paying throughout the year, various months, and then, and then at the end of the year, you may not have a bill. Are people taking advantage of that program? They are, it's a prepay program, and people have, have discovered it, thank goodness, uh, it has been in operation for probably 10 years. And what it does, it gives people the option, works very well for people on a fixed income where they can pay throughout the year. It takes the sting out, takes the sting out of that November bill. So I would encourage people that if you have some 
extra money or if you just want to put yourself on your own personal payment plan to utilize this because it really does. It, it really helps take the sting out of, of that November bill. Have people uh, had any feedback on that program or, or do you hear comments on why they might want to be a part of that program? All the time. Uh, you know, people, uh, fortunately, we have a lot of folks that, you know, they have a tight budget. And if they know what they're doing on a regular monthly basis, they will do that. And so if we can encourage folks to put us into their, into their budget process, it works out both for them and for us. And it, it really does, again, the, the fixed income thing really works out for a lot of our seniors. So can you tell me again about those payment options that uh, everybody should be aware of? Well, one of the things that we were utilizing this year is uh, pay at St. Louis. Uh, it is something we've implemented that really does work extremely well for individuals. Uh, it's so easy. It's just so easy. You bring it up on your app, you, you bring it up on your phone, you can pay your bill sitting in, the, uh, sitting in your living room. So it works out extremely well. But also, if you want to mail it in, if you want to come to City Hall, we also you know, have those options. If you want to use, uh, utilize uh, Commerce Bank deposit, you can. Please don't send cash. Don't send cash. Don't send cash. Uh, it is one of those kind of things that works out extremely well for some people. But uh, uh, we are working very well with uh, Commerce Bank and uh, their, in their cooperation works out very well. If any information changes, do you have social media th uh, that people... We do, we do. We certainly have our website that uh, works every day. We have a Twitter account that uh, we, we put up questions that are, we think, that are frequently asked questions that I think help people when they're trying to pay their bill. We assume, we, we don't assume, we just, uh, we have questions that are on, on the Twitter page that, we, that come up and we give answers to it, so we hope it helps uh, the individual taxpayer. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, I hope everybody gets out there and pays their bill, right? <laughs> I do too, Andy. Uh, it works out. I, we're trying very hard, and uh, certainly it start, it's starting out to be a very good tax season, and uh, we very much appreciate the folks that, have, that are paying on time. I, and there's a lot paying on time, I hear. There's a lot paying on time, and uh, for the city of St. Louis, that is extremely important. We're going to try to make it as easy as possible, and it's working out very well. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, and good luck with the tax season and collecting payments. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Thanks for having us. And uh, it really is something that is essential here in the city of St. Louis. We're trying to make it as simple as possible. So appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Thank you so much to Gregory FX Daily. Uh, be sure and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm Andy Rizika. Thanks for watching.